We're talking to Alan Johnson at Prana Off-Road. The guys at the workshop here put our dual battery system in the other day. Alan's the expert on these things. We've been doing them for years. Alan, why do we need a dual battery system in our Hilux? Well, Matt and guest guys, the big thing is in today's world, Donna's wet photographer, we all use digital photography. Instead of paper maps, we're now using GPSs with uh, obviously iPads and all sorts of other things. Obviously fridges, which is one of the biggest uses for dual battery systems, and of course winching. So with all that electrical load, we need a second battery in our vehicle. So a dual battery is very essential for outback touring. And I guess what we've done on this vehicle is set up a really, really tricky system. So if you've got time, let's have a look, see what we've done. Okay, Alan, what are the components the guys have put in here for our car? Well, basically a dual battery system contains three major big bits, which are really important. There's the battery tray, which is in the bottom of the thing holding the battery up. That's a really important part of the whole component because basically that's the biggest, heaviest bit. And as we talked about before, it's got to be absolutely solid and reliable or it's going to fall through the mudguard. This battery is a deep cycle battery. It's a very, very important part of the whole thing. It's the heart of the whole system. This is what stores the energy. This battery we chose because it gives you 97 amp hour, which is absolutely brilliant. 97 amp hour is a lot of power. Typical fridge like an Engel would draw about 2.2 amps. So you're going to get days and days of runtime out of this, which is really, really good. The other important thing with the deep cycle battery is you can flatten it quite a few times and you can recharge it again and that full capacity without being damaged. The next bit is the control charging system or the isolator. That's a really important part of it. This allows us to charge just similar batteries. We have a starting battery and a deep cycle battery. We can charge them to basically the best possible outcome in the quickest time without having any reduction due to resistance, which is really, really good. And that also isolates between the two, so when Absolutely. you get your fridge running there, it's not going to drain your main battery. Correct. When we start, we start off this battery only. When the engine's not running and everything just runs all your accessories, it runs your iPad, it runs your computer, it runs your mobile phone, it runs your fridge, it runs everything else. The other bit that's very really important is this thing here, this fuse box. One power in and then four, five or six outlets, depending on what you want. Individual fuses for individual lines. So instead of just having one big fuse running all the accessories, that fuse blows or it doesn't blow and you have a fire, or it does blow and you lose everything, you only lose the one thing. So if you go, problem something stops working, yep. lift the bonnet straight away into your fuse box and you can actually check everything in one place. It's nice and easy to access there too. The easy to access. The one up under yeah. the exactly. This thing here is called a MIDI fuse, which is up in here. This is a 100 amp fuse. Yep. That's there in case the unthinkable happens, you have a car accident, something terrible happens, it will actually blow, protects the whole electrical system. So the last part of the job is plugs and sockets which are in the back of the car yes. and that's one of the most critical things that I think you'd understand, especially six sockets are universal in Australia as a car outlet, but they're not really suitable for running all the accessories. They can come loose, they can fall out. In the back of the car you're not going to know it's fallen out because you've got no way of telling. Back there you need good quality sockets. So what's the alternative to a single socket? We've got Merit sockets, we've got Engel sockets, we've got a whole range of different sockets including Anderson plugs. So depending upon what you want to do with it, we can set you up all the different plugs and sockets to suit your needs. Okay guys, we talked about plugs and sockets and this is really important. This is a SIG socket and as you can see, it's not what we call the most reliable thing. If that was your fridge, it would have stopped working. So what we've got in this car, we've got two sockets in. We actually have a dedicated fridge socket which actually screws in and it's got two pins with a dong so it can't spin or move. Absolutely 100% reliable. And the second thing that's clever, you'll notice they're sitting straight up and down, not sticking out. When it's sticking down, gravity's helping to hold that in. When it's sticking out this way, it wants to fall out on the bottom of the car. So we've got two dedicated sockets, different fuse lines for them. One for running lights or whatever you want to run off the SIG socket and one for running your fridge. So we'll be able to go camping for a weekend, have the fridge running in the back, our lights, you know, iPad charging up, all those sort of things. Yep. At the end of the weekend, still should be able to turn the key and up to fire. Absolutely, right start away. that engine straight away. To find out how you can win our fully equipped Hilux, grab a copy of 4x4 Australia magazine or see us online at www.4x4australia.com.au.